Hey guys, Tech Adventure here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this cannot get mail that you might be encountering on your iPhone, iPad, or any Apple device now. This message can be appearing for multiple reasons, and we're going to explore the options that you have to try to resolve it yourself. So if you get this message, most likely you see it whenever you open up your mail app. So the mail app here, you might have a couple mailboxes configured. Here, we just have one, but you might be seeing multiple mailboxes. One of them could be the one that's being issued. So it's important to just first look at which email it is referring to. As you can see here, it's referring to Gmail, but it could be any of your other email as well, like Outlook, Yahoo, AOL, maybe even your iCloud, depending on what it is. So narrow down to what email. Now, if you have multiple Gmails, you can always narrow down to those Gmails as well because you can add multiple e email. The first thing here to do is simply go in your main mailbox and just slide the finger down here to refresh your mailbox. Again, do it a few times. Sometimes the internet connection could be bad. While you're at it, make sure that if you're on data, maybe connect to a Wi-Fi as well. Sometimes on cellular data, if the cellular service isn't strong enough or having issues, it might not load. It might be spinning here and it might keep on doing that. Man, if you if it keeps on doing that and not getting able to load, go ahead and force close your app. So to force close the app, you're going to simply slide your finger up. You'll see the multiple apps that are open. Locate the mail one. Just simply slide it up. Now that will force close the mail app. Open it back up again. And then as you can see, it'll check and hopefully that message goes away. Now, uh, let's say you're still having the issue. You check a good Wi-Fi connection you're still refreshing, it didn't work, you closed out it. Now, the next thing you want to do, it's gonna be a little bit more of effort. You're gonna simply go into settings this time, and then we're gonna go into the mail option here. So you go to the mail option here, and in the mail option here, this is on iOS 15, could be slightly different for you. You're gonna go click on account, and as you can see here, we have two accounts here set up. We have the Gmail here, and we have an iCloud one here as well. So let's say our Gmail is the troublesome one. We're gonna click on that. And this time what we'll do is turn off the mail for momentarily and then turn it back on and then go back to our mail app on our phone. Go ahead and refresh again one more time to see if that air message uh, goes away. Go ahead, even force close one more time open it back up and see if that issue goes away. Now let's say it still didn't go away. I'm gonna open up mail again here, go back to that account. So you'll see, you'll have the option to see the multiple accounts you have set up. Go ahead and click it and then we're gonna go ahead this time, delete the account and re-add it back to our phone. So delete from iPhone and it will remove it. It might say delete from your account entirely. And this time we're gonna go ahead and add that back again. Now select that email that you just removed. So in our case, we're gonna go ahead and add back in that uh, account one more time here. So we're gonna hit here and select. You might have to enter your password. If it's not save here, you're gonna hit that save button. And as you can see, account has been added. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the mail app one more time again. Refresh to make sure all the comment, all of our mail is coming up here as you can see it's coming up again and usually that resolved the issue now if still having issue after you sign back again it's time to do a force restart of your phone so iphone 8 and above usually the force restart will fix any sort of software minor bug issue to do that you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold this big side button until it goes black and you see the apple logo so we're going to Press and release volume up, press and release volume down, and then hold this big side button. Now, if you see the Siri logo come up instead of this screen, most likely you didn't press quick enough. So we're gonna do it really quick and then wait till it goes black. Still keep on holding that button. We don't wanna let go of that button until we see the Apple logo. Once we see the Apple logo, let go. Now we have done what's known as a force restart. I generally, we'll fix any sort of minor software issue that you might be experiencing with your phone again just wait till it reboots again and then once it reboots make sure you're connected to your network if you're using your uh, cellular data or your wi-fi make sure they're connected open up the mail app refresh one more time and hopefully that 
air message goes away and you're able to get your mail. Now, let's say you're still not getting any mail, you're having an issue. The next thing to do is actually manually configure the server port and authentication. So what do we mean by that? So if you go into settings of your phone here into the mail app settings one more time, you'll notice here, if you click on it before I count here, we'll see here, um, we're able to go ahead and in the advanced settings here, we're going to be able to look at these uh, configuration here, especially the port that you're using. Sometimes you might need to disable SSL for a moment and see if you get mail and then turn it back on. Some mail, for some reason, doesn't have SSL. Some of the older mails for some uh, of the providers. That's one thing to take a look at. The other thing you want to take a look at is actually configuring this SMTP server. So as you can see by default, here's what it's being using. What you want to do is go Google your mail provider and look at SMTP server setting, which you'll be able to find out and then check to make sure whatever they want you to configure is configured correctly. If any of this is off, for example, the authentication method, even the server port, if something changed with that mail provider, you won't be able to access it because these are default settings and as software updates are made, sometimes they could potentially uh, change those server settings for you. Now, let's say even that didn't help. What can you do next? The next thing and probably the final thing you can do is make sure your phone is updated here. So going back to settings, general software update, and make sure connected to Wi-Fi or get cellular data. See if there's a software update. Potentially, there could be a software bug that's preventing you from getting your mail. You want to go ahead and click on download and install. We're not going to do it because it will uh, take some time. Note when you're upgrading for major version, even minor version, you're going to take somewhere between 20, 30 minutes, depending on how fast your Wi-Fi connection is. So once we do that, hopefully that resolves any issue. And if none of that has resolved your issue, uh, most likely there is something else going on and you need to do some advanced troubleshooting at a local Apple store where they can take a look at your device. So hopefully some of this tip that we gave you, at least one of them help. Or if you find another way to fix that error message that we've seen with getting your mail, do let us know how to fix that and put a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.